Great to see you tonight, Leanne. Good evening, guys. Can, can I ask you, first of all, just the, the main question, what do you make of the squad? I mean, Serena wiegmann has been rocked by injuries, hasn't she? What do you make of the decision she's made? Yeah, I think I'm pretty happy with how it's been selected. I mean, obviously, there's always... Football's always going to be a matter of opinions. Everyone would have different opinions. Maybe Maya Letizia would be the only other player that I might have put in there, but she's going to be in and around the squad. She's on standby, as is Jess Park as well. But I'm delighted, you know, I'm glad that Millie Bright's fit to be available to be selected. And Lucy Bronze is currently preparing for the Champions League final this Saturday as well. So I'm delighted she can be there. I think, obviously... A lot of the talk has been about the amount of injuries we've got, but we've also got a lot of other players that can step in and fill in those roles as well. Now, Leanne, you were selected to go to two World Cups, but you know that feeling of waiting to hear what the manager's decision is. Um, can you give us an idea of what that's like and what those players would have been feeling today? Yeah, it's certainly nerve-wracking. It's one of those things where when I first got picked for England when I was 16, for the under-17s, it was like you're waiting by the post box, waiting for the letter, and you say, Mum and Dad, have the letters come? I mean, technology's moved on from then. So then you get an email, and you're waiting, and then there was times at St George's Park where we'd be taken into separate rooms, and you'd be with your roommate. You know, Jill Scott was my roommate, and we'd be waiting, hoping both of, the, of us would be selected. And it's certainly the moments where, when you are selected, you're so delighted, you share it with your family, you find out before the media does, and, and those types of things. But they're moments you never forget, but then you also feel for your teammates that don't get selected as well, because as much as there's a lot of adulation in being selected, there's obviously people that miss out. And those players will be certainly feeling it yesterday and today as well. Mm. But looking forward, those for those players who have been selected, there are 50 days to go. And I remember at the beginning of the Euros, there was a lot of talk about how tight the squad became. What will the next 50 days look like for them? Oh, it's, I mean, you're away from home quite a lot. I think there's a lot of work now that's been done behind the scenes in regards to the mental health of players when they're away on trips, you know, their families and their friends, because you are a family away from home when you're with each other, you're in each other's pockets. So you have to manage those situations as well. But playing in a major tournament for your country, I was fortunate enough to play in three, you know, two World Cups, one in China and one in Canada in 2015. And when you get to sing the national anthem and your friends and family there, it's the best feeling in the world. And obviously, it's in Australia and New Zealand, very far away. But I still encourage everybody to wake up and get behind the Lionesses because we saw just how impactful the support was last summer. People used to ask me, Leanne, when do you think you're going to, you know, when the women's game's going to take off? And it finally has. And we can see these scenes at Trafalgar Square, all the players celebrating. And we need that type of support this summer as well. Although it's really far away, we need that type of support still now. Well, I was going to say, I mean, with the Euros, England did have the home advantage. This one, as you say, is on the other side of the world. I mean, England are going to miss that home advantage, though, aren't they? They are, and I know a lot of people are going out there. I know kickoff times are going to be early, but I think we're in a really good group. I mean, China, I Denmark, you know, we should, and Haiti yeah. as well. We should relatively get out of the group. I'm not saying it's going to be easy, but in the later stages, well, we'll play against Australia at some point. I think it's in a round of 16 or the quarterfinals, the way the draw has been done. So we know how much of a home advantage there can be, and there's more pressure on the Lionesses this tournament. I think after winning their first silverware, last summer in London at Wembley. I think everybody now has fallen in love with the team. And once you get there, staying at the top is even harder. So these players are ready. They're prepared. I love Serena Wiegmann. I always say I wish she was my manager and my coach when I was there. But these players are very fortunate to have a manager like her. She's won two back-to-back -back European championships, one with the Netherlands, one with England. And that's not an easy thing to do. And I believe in these players. I believe they can do it. And they're going to need all the support they can get as well from home. All right, Leanne Sanderson, thank you very much indeed for joining us and uh, good luck to England. Thank you.